the kind of approach to knowledge and um, and that again will be then embodied in the studio. So I will say later on because you know I think that for me it's very hard to talk in one way about this because then it immediately links somewhere else. So then, of course, to this table we're already going to a certain sense of destruction. You know, so we see kind of like a collapsing image of a human, then creating of a create the creation of the machine that sort of in a way reflects the human existence, and maybe this is something that is most relevant to us now because I mean the question that we're asking ourselves is are we still human and what are the boundaries of humanity and where is the next step when perhaps we will no longer be human so that of course links again to the robot downstairs and to the robots that Patrick has been working with which are much more um, questioning this issue of the creativity consciousness uh, of the machine rather than a person but so anyway to continue from this the last this the the, the second last no, the actual yellow table is about kind of different collapses that are more general so it relates to different wars different ideological collapses and then the, the, four, the fifth table is about artistic systems, so purely artistic systems that deal with this concept of the world and the concept of, of ourselves. So on that table you will see lo lots of references of stylistic even gestures that will look like somebody else's work, but they are not obviously uh, the exact copy of this work. They are more interpretation. Because all of these drawings have been grown, drawn by the same machines as you see drawing on the last table. And it takes approximately about um, eight days to draw one of these scrolls. So we've spent so much time doing this work before. And of course there's a certain freedom of how it looks because it looks like maybe it has been drawn by a person while the person is doing something else, you know, the scribbles that, that people do. But... Um, you know, it is drawn by the machine. So I think that there is a certain beauty in this if you know this information, but you can also sort of, in a way, appreciate this without knowing this. So the last step where the robots draw, they will be drawing life through the whole duration of this exhibition. Um, you know, this scroll will become much more accumulated, but also the imagery that will be perhaps drawn by these machines will uh, not reflect so much the kind of logical approach of uh, the previous scrolls that still in a way related to, to a human logic. So we wanted to create something with Patrick that um, sort of responds to this hypothetical time when humans don't exist anymore. And in a way, the same thing is with the robot downstairs.